Hey, 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 Coach Greg here at Spell Training. Are you trying to get rid of your muffin top but not sure which exercises to use? Then do not fear, Coach Greg is here. I have some beginner-friendly muffin top workout exercises for you that are really gonna help you cinch your waist, make yourself look awesome and dope right before summer hits, so let's have some fun. All right, we're doing three sets. First set, I'll be more explaining and demonstrating these uh, muffin top burning <laughs> exercises. And then the next two sets, will be more of a complete run through of all of them. As Coach Gabby likes to say, less talking, more doing. So it's gonna be fun. So let's get started with exercise number one. All right, find yourself a flat surface. We're gonna start off with some march pull downs. Here we go, three, two, and one. So get yourself marching. Then as we do, we're gonna focus on raising our arms up and pulling down just like that. Really reach with your hands and drive that knee up as high as you can. Try to keep your back flat, really tighten your core because you're gonna feel it all up in here. And even any type of balancing motion like this will cause you, uh, cause your body to have to stabilize and those little tiny micro movements are what's gonna really tone your midsection. So here we go, a couple more seconds, three, two, and one, great job moving right along to exercise number two. We have some sumo squat twists. Sumo squats are my nemesis, but we're gonna have some fun with it. Uh, have your feet past shoulder width apart. Again, some people like are better with uh, their wide squats with their feet pointing forward. Some people, like me, <laughs> need it at 45 degrees. Some people like it all the way over here. Do whatever your preference is. What we're gonna be doing is getting ourselves into a wide sumo squat position. Go as low as you can, and then as we come up, we are gonna be twisting to one side, back down, and then twist. So 30 seconds, here we go. Really sink deep, and then twist over, just like that. This is also a great exercise because it's working out. It's technically a really good full body exercise. Then as we're twisting our trunk, it's really helping our bleaks, and everything like that. So here we go. Try not to be forward. Try to sit back into it. Then as you twist, really pull it from your obliques. Let's do one more each side. And great job. Moving right along to exercise number three. We have some windmills. Stay in that position. Feet um, past shoulder width. We're gonna focus on seeing if we can get our fingers to touch the insides of our feet. So here we go, 30 seconds. And let's go, so stay upright. Then as we're coming down, just tap that inside. Try to have the arm that's up, point as high up in the ceiling as you can. I'm not flexible at the moment, but <laughs> you're probably better at that than me. Now, if your hamstrings are also tight, like mine are, and you can't do it stiff-legged, just turn it into a side lunge where you can lean onto one side to make sure you can get to that side, just like that. Make sure you have your balance, make sure you're pushing with your feet against the ground and really focus on that stretch. Just like that, one more and done. Those are tough, but they are so, so fun. So last exercise, we have oblique crunches. You can do this whichever way you want. You can drive the knee up or you can do like I'm gonna be doing <laughs> and just having strong, stable base past uh, shoulder width apart like this hands behind the back, and we're just gonna alternate between leaning from one side to the next. 30 seconds, and let's go. Really crunch over to that side. You're gonna feel that stretch. You're gonna feel the crunch here. Go up on the other side. See if you can stay on a line, like try not to twist over this way or this way. See if you can just really pull from this side. And you don't have to do this big drastic like all the way over, even something like right here. As long as you can feel the stretch, you're working it out. So here we go. A couple more seconds. Three, two, let's do one more this side. And great job. There you have it. Those are your four exercises for your muffin top workout. Uh, it's definitely beginner friendly. Again, if you're someone like me who needs to work on they're stretching, <laughs> then uh, take your time with this. Don't just force yourself into positions. Grab some water, because we're gonna get started with set number two in just a second. All right, here we go. Set number two, you know what you're doing. I'm gonna stop talking. Music's gonna go up. 
and so are our heart rates <laughs> and our muffin tops are gonna be gone. So starting off this exercise or set number two. March pull downs in three, two, and one. Sumo squat twist in three, two, one. Windmills and go. Bleak crunch in three, two, one. There you go, set number two done, grab some water. Set number three will begin momentarily. You know what you're doing, finish strong. Set number three starts now. March pull downs in three, two, and one. Sumo squat twist in three, two, one. Windmills and go. Oblique crunch in three, two, one.
Well done. Give yourself one of these and one of these. That was your muffin top workout for beginners. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. My body is tired. Maybe you want to keep redoing these exercises. Go ahead. <laughs> All the more power to you. Uh, if you like these videos, please uh, click the notification bell. Stay on top of any new videos dropping that we're trying to send out to you guys. We all want to get fit and strong this year, so let's get after it. I'm Coach Greg. I'll see you in the next video. Stay strong, my friend. Peace.